Are you reading the fucking newspaper, man? <laughs> yeah, bro. Do you have any idea what he's doing to your right now? What's that? Do you have any idea what he's doing to your head? No. I trust him. <laughs> What's the plan of attack, buddy? Like I said, I want to take this down short. His hair is soft enough that we can get away with it being really, really tight to the head. So I'm going to just take it down to just above an inch. Like Jesse's penis. <laughs> get out of here, bro. You know you like it. Oh, no, my phone's ringing. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, because I've, I've done a lot of silk screen too, but that's more exact. The linoleum is a little bit, it's kind of tricky. It's, it's nice, the, the happy accidents, you know. Yeah, I mean, every, every print's a little unique, you know, you mm -hmm. get to, it has its own personality. Um, so in that process, do you, everyone's a single print, one run, single color, or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll do like probably about 20 each run, about 20 prints or whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of trying to dial in that process too, because it is, it is something that I haven't really done since college. I was just kind of experimenting with it, and then she saw it. So, did you? Uh, is that where you got your degree in, or? Yeah, in art, fine art. Nice. Back in the land before time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you looked old walking in here, but we're gonna make you look <laughs> fresh as fuck. I know we're gonna have to charge him by the pound. Ain't that right, Bob? <laughs> Are you reading the fucking newspaper, man? <laughs> yeah, bro. You did, you brought us all you 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 made us a little bit older right now. You brought us all down. So I uh, just giving him uh, just getting rid of the bulk around the uh, the sh perimeter, doing a like a shoe, a horseshoe parting all the way around. Because uh, we're gonna go short enough that this is gonna be really tucked in once I get the the top knocked down. But um, just want to see how his hair reacts. So don't uh, ever want to cut in too grisly, too high. Um, but now that we can see that it's got a nice, nice texture, nice density, it's, uh, it'll be much easier to start laying in a, a proper fade if, uh, if we were to dive in just like from the get, you know, it might not come out so pretty. Um. Well, I guess I've gone pretty short, but not down the skin. We're going to keep it low. So as it grows out, it'll have, it'll have a nice structure and some dimension to it. But even if you let it hang out wild, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll look intentional. What's nice about your hair is that it grows back really quickly. <laughs> I'm not even minding this lock of seagulls thing going on either. <laughs> we all going to dinner? Uh, we're talking about fun to send to go. Oh shit, yeah. We good. She also wants to go see. Uh, she used to play in, an, in a, or she used to sing with this band, Knife in, a, in the Water. And so we want to go see them. They're playing. We we're talking about possibly seeing the Well. They're playing at a. Uh, can't remember the name of the bar right now. That's very cool. What do you do with the kiddo? Oh, she's gonna go stay with a friend. We get, I mean, it's rarely we get a sitter, man. It's it's really nice with uh, a friend, and a friend that also has kids, so they'll just all play together. Yeah. Yeah, my folks are far away, and so are so are Shelly. So don't get a lot of. I'm sure. I'm sure you know how that goes. I was thinking about taking the wife out on a date as well, and I'm just like, oh man, we dump off this turd with. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like the cats where you can just leave a giant pile of food and. <laughs> right. <laughs> they actually look forward to you leaving. Oh, the we gotta get a cat sitter now too, man, because we got two cats and they don't get along. Oh, great. <laughs> Yeah, we'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> that, put, that brought your cool kid points down. <laughs> no, when I went by your house to drop Eleanor off. Uh, I noticed y'all have a lot of pets too. Yeah, we got the, uh, and they're all fucking hairy, man. So <laughs> it's like every aspect of my life involves hair. I come here covered in hair, go back home covered in hair. We got two Pomeranians and two long haired cats. And they're all awesome in their own special ways, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, surprisingly enough, they're not, it's not like a crazy amount of shedding, but it's all together, it's... It's crazy, you know, like I got two short haired dogs, two cats with like probably pretty short, short hair or whatever, but man, when we vacuum, it's like nuts. That's what it is too, yeah, like it, it hides well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wash and 
I have to wash, uh, otherwise the sawdust just dries everything out so bad. No, just shampoo conditioner. I tried some, like, be uh, beard stuff to soften up your beard or whatever. I used it a little bit, but it didn't really work that well. He would be like our softener, like shampoo. So we have a we have a quality shampoo. Mm -hmm. It's a utility wash, so you can use it on your hair and use it on your beard. It's essentially the best stuff we make. So instead of just having like a two versions of it, we just chose the best one for everything. Awesome. And, uh, and then you follow it up with our softener. So that's the same thing. Super high quality condition that you can use in your hair. And then just while you're in the shower, throw it in the beard as well. Removes any necessity to do as much stuff. If you mm -hmm. wanted to really baby your beard, you would throw some oil and some balm and you know, and style it or whatever. Being that you're a pretty low maintenance guy, if you're only gonna do a little bit, that would be a perfect combo. Because then you can just do it in the shower, knock it out, it feels fucking soft. And then on those special days where, or those days that you do have a little bit more time and effort uh, in you, you can hit it with some, uh, some other beard products. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, because I think once we get this one a little bit more dialed in, uh, just it looking better, I think it'll make you want to just put, put some love into it. Mm -hmm. And it's quality enough stuff that Mama will probably try to steal some too. <laughs> so those characters that you that you paint, mm -hmm. that you print, do those have a name or any? Do they have a story? Uh, not, not so much. I mean, I think uh, my art looked a lot different probably 10, 12 years ago. And then when I started thinking about having a kid, I think they got more childlike. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, they changed a lot. Yeah, they're fun stuff, man. They're very unique for sure. I appreciate it. Definitely have a, a vibe, a signature. I think I, I, I stole how I draw noses from kids. <laughs> <laughs> they, potato, potato nose. Yeah, the way, the way they draw, man, is just, just perfect. It's like, uh, you know, they don't have all the filters. Yeah, it's, it is fun going through those hallways and just seeing everyone's renditions of stuff. It's mm -hmm. just, it's wild. What's that? No. I trust him. <laughs> well, I run into you almost daily, so I feel like I gotta do a great <laughs> job. Because <laughs> this is a, uh, yeah, when, so the thing about it is, is like, I remember when you buzzed your, buzzed everything off. Like, mm -hmm. no beard, no hair, and it was, I want to tell you, was it longer than this when you did that? It's probably close. Probably, yeah, probably so, close. Man, I had given, I had given myself like a crazy mullet. And, uh, and then, you know, the joke, after the joke ran out, you know, it was kind of like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to just shave it all off. Well, when you got, when you got to school, some people didn't recognize you. Mm -hmm. like, like, people were like, what the fuck, who's that guy? Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, it was really, it was really fun to, to see everybody react. Yeah, he looks great. Yeah, Eleanor came out of school and said, that was the worst mistake you ever made. <laughs> I think you told me that, yeah. <laughs> Cutting your hair every year. Once a year, you just buzz it off, or you just buzz it. Whenever Pretty you much. I mean, for a long time, I kept it. I'd keep it just buzzed, you know, because that was just easy. And uh, but then, like you know, I I think I had it grown out pretty long when I met Shelly the first time, and uh, I think I just had you know a friend a friend cut it once for me or something like that, but. Yeah. Right. But 12 years ago was the last actual haircut you had from a, from a barber, yeah. And that oh was, shit. Yeah, that was one of Shelly's friends. Like I said, I want to take this down short. His hair is soft enough that we can get away with it being really, really tight to the head. So I'm going to just take it down to just above an inch. Like Jesse's penis. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, bro. You know you like it. Oh, 
<laughs> oh no, my phone's ringing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's, it's always seemed like my hair goes all, all directions. Yeah, it really does. Like, like you said, you, your world's right smack dab in the middle of the, the back of your head. It goes clockwise, but then it flips over this way. And then you got this little split right here. And the, the stuff in the front. <laughs> yeah, this is a short haircut, textured. It's where to go. <laughs> no, I, I'd come back just for the just for the banter. <laughs> you uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the when you work on the carpentry stuff? What are you are you at a at job locations? Or are you out of a shop? Uh, sometimes it's uh, you know my shop my make do shop is my house and my garage. There's a shed. But uh, yeah, I've been on I've been on a job site out on this 15 acres for a while. I'm, I've been re kind of redoing a um, it's kind of like a an airstream, but it's called a Spartan. It's all all metal trailer or whatever. Yeah. But I, I gutted it down to the metal, and then uh, been building it, building it back up from there. It's pretty cool looking on the inside. It looks looks kind of like a yacht or something because there's just nice. so much wood. I was wondering if uh, if you got a crew around you and talk sh as much shit as this. Yeah, I mean, I I use different helpers and easily there's other trades. Oh, it's looking great. Yeah. No, I mean, I do like the idea. It'll be easy. That's the thing about my work too, is like a lot of stuff gets stuck in my hair. Like all the dust and stuff. How, uh, how long ago did you start going gray? Um, <laughs> I guess this was about the time uh, we had a kid. <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. You know, you, you know that that beginning, you know, man, when you never sleep and. Oh yeah. You know, I was talking to somebody about that the other day. It's kind of like time stops, man, because it's such a precious time, you know. But at the same time, it's like you don't you don't sleep ever. You get like you know maybe two hours of sleep here and there. Yeah, lately, Eleanor's really into like scaring herself. She wants to she wants to read all the goosebump stories and stuff like that. But then, you know, the other night she comes comes in the bedroom and she's like, uh, "Oh man, she better not see this. She'll get mad at me." <laughs> she got she got scared, couldn't sleep because of one of the covers of the books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little dude does the same thing. And we tell him it's like, "Hey, man, like." That you don't don't get don't get scare yourself, man. Don't don't get too crazy. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, nah, I got it. And he's like, like yeah, can you turn on the light? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, well, she'll just straight up come in there and jump in the bed. <laughs> yeah. man, that's funny. Between my wife and her, man, they'll they'll take up every inch of that bed, man. I'm like a little <laughs> sliver on the side. Uh, this this particular beard, I guess. This is last year. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Have you done any trimming to it? Um, I did once. Like tried to get it a little bit better, better shape or whatever. Just try to get some of the, you know, crazy ends. That was funny that day I shaved my beard off. I remember Eleanor saying that. And then, uh, what's his name? Uh, George. Yeah, George. <laughs> George. It's like worst mistake you ever made. Yeah, yeah. There's no filter on those kids, like you said. And yeah. Let it, let it rip. <laughs> and then, and I think it, I wasn't wearing overalls one day too. And George was like, "Why aren't you wearing your overalls?" <laughs> <laughs> they notice everything. You you never mm -hmm. think they they would, but they notice everything. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't break it. I haven't seen one. 
process here, Yeah, this is the classic ruffler technique. So as we've gotten shorter with his hair, it's it's, it's showing some of those cowlicks. You know, it's uh, it sprouts out a little bit because it's uh, it's a lot more rigid and, uh, and fresh hair. It's, it's kind of stubborn. So this technique is going to hopefully just soften it up ever so slightly so it lays down and maybe uh, doesn't spike up as much unless we want it to. So just kind of softening up those edges. I said, trying to speed up the process where the hair naturally starts to soften up. When hair's on your head, it's, it's washed, it's, you wear hats, you comb it, you, you sleep on it, it, you naturally sand it down to a soft point so it's a little bit more flexible. When we cut it from as long as it was to down to this, it's, uh, yeah, it's the thickest, most stubborn portion of its life, so um, this just speeds up that process get to a much more polished product quicker. Oh, that ain't looking. Meta. Now it is beer. What I'd like to do is just clean up around the edges real quick. I lay it back and soften it up, cleanse it. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll trim it from there. Let me see it. As far as the mustache goes, you're doing anything special with that thing ever? Uh, I trim it off my lip. My That's wife, about it, eh? <laughs> my, my, lip, my wife's <laughs> like, yeah, you need to get it off your lip. So as long as it's, uh, as long as it's, it's kissable and you can, you can eat, Without yeah. wearing it, then that's good. Okay. Try to keep his cheek line groomed, but pretty natural. So you've got that wall clipper at the house. If you wanted to maintain this, even just in between a year, <laughs> you, uh, it's really easy to just get a regular plastic comb and just using that top uh, pivot point mm -hmm. where your ear and kind of meet your head, aim for that, and just angle it out. Ooh. And then just get a little closer as you get to the, towards the top of the sideburn. That's cool. That, uh, that alone can make a beard look and last so much longer, make it look more intentional for longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, then people won't start to be as concerned as uh, I hear some of the people are for you at school. <laughs> <laughs> Did anything all right with Lance? <laughs> That is very much, this is another reason why I kind of wanted to go with this like really short tight. There's a little bit of the contrast to his overall, it's a, it's a nice juxtaposition of like this short edgy haircut. Kind of, we're going to keep his beard natural and wild, um, but at the same time the, the, shorten, the shortness of his hair is going to be uh, just fit in with his lifestyle too. So. As much as I would love to give him that Hitler Youth haircut, <laughs> as much as I would love to give him a nice, uh, you know, combable head of hair, uh, yeah, this is just being able to wake up in the morning, dust it off, and move along. You also wear some pretty cool hats. You got a great hat collection. Mm. Yeah, I crawl under a lot of houses. It's nice to have a hat on. All those <laughs> spiders. <laughs> yes, I'm throwing some old money softener in there. I coat the hair pretty well, but make sure I get down to the skin too. It's a great moisturizer. Got a hot good. Good. Yeah, like I said, they're going on a nice date tonight. I mean, it's, it's kind of a shit, but it's also delicious good. Mexican food. I mean, all money is where it's at. Just giving him shape, Bobby. Yeah, like I said, I uh, since we're trying to maintain as much of the uh, just a natural look, where I'm, his hair is pretty curly, so it curls back up into the beard itself, and. Um, the clipper can be a little aggressive and, uh, and maybe take off a little bit too much, so 
combing it out, pinching it in my fingers, just make sure I'm getting all those little those little guys that are hiding away because do the curl, but at the same time, I'm not so aggressive that I shave off a big curl and then the beard you know, collapses on itself. So I feel pretty confident by running a comb through it and giving it a little bit of, a little bit of tension. So what I was looking for was where he was trimming it himself. So that means that you know it's a comfortable, comfortable shape and, and length. Uh, I'm uh, getting a little bit more aggressive just where the beard and mustache start to blend. Just trying to find that balance of trimmed and intentional without making it look too tight. Because once again, I, I feel like his. His wild beard, it's, it's, it looks really good. Like, I'm okay with it. If we want to do something super tight and edgy the next time, that's cool. But for a first time, just dip our toes in. It's been a year of growth. Let's enjoy it. Still kind of keep in mind, still trying to keep in mind the, uh, the lower maintenance approach. But yeah, the mustache and areas where the beard, or like by the, the sideburns where the beard meets the hairline and all that, we can we can keep those a little bit tighter just because they're the first things to grow out and, and really show how much a beard is grown out. Because all this stuff, if it were to grow out, you can you can hide that pretty well. Like this little transition here and the mustache, if we keep that a little bit tighter, keep its groomed look much longer. Hey, you quit smoking recently. How's that going? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you quit before, though? Uh, I've quit several times. There you go, then. I know you got it in you, man. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah. If you quit once, you can, you can quit again. I keep reading that, you know, the more time you quit, it actually imprints the chance of it. This is true. I think Bobby read the same thing in his newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the sake of a good, good looking date, since we're here, we got plenty of it. We're gonna put a little bit of our old money styling bomb in there. If you wanted to recreate this, so we made sure that his hair was really dry, so that way a little bit of product can go a long way. And if it was. Uh, the other thing is that if there's a lot of wet moisture in the hair, uh, the hair is going to battle the product and it's going to dry the way it wants to. But when it's dry and we apply it um, in this way, we can decide and determine what the hair and the finished product look like. So it's one thing to take into consideration. If you wanted a slicker look, yeah, throw it in there when it's nice and wet and keep on adding it up. But uh, like I said, if we want something a little bit chunkier, a little bit messier, uh, throwing it in while the hair is a tad bit dry is uh, just a little easier way to get the, the finished product. And then I'm gonna throw a little bit of our oil. It already comes in a in a bottle. Mm. Quick and easy to apply. I like to keep keep it in my palms and then scrape a little off. Get it down to the skin. Drag it through a bit. Easy so as that. Oh, it looks great, man. It, I, I was surprised what he did, you know, like, 
You felt like came in broken car, looking pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think your uh, your loved ones are gonna? Oh, I think my wife will love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, baby girl. Yeah, oh, yeah, she'll 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 dig it. Yeah. As long as the beard's still there, she's yeah. fine. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs>